EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. to the air. Here's Stafford. Flush to his right. And incomplete to open things up. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten again from the 25-yard line. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Back to throw, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. They snap it to Stafford. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Montgomery running right. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Forced out to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now it's Fields. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball. He's taking it right down Broadway. The 30. 10. Touchdown. take the block field goal and convert it into six points. 
Well, we did, in fact, get our first points of the game on the field goal attempt. Just, you know, maybe not the way that we expected with a return the other direction. And right now, you know it's popping into my brain. That adage every coach says to us, if you block a kick and score off of it, 95% of the time, your team wins the game. I can't quantify the numbers, but it certainly seems to work out that way. An extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Bayless Jones now from his end zone. for their next drive, the Bears offense. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown and the field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey, and the Rams are going to take possession of the football. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot, and if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there, and sure enough, this one's going the other way. Intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And the Bears are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, their defense got them the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they've got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this will be caught by Mooney. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Here's Fields. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions. why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Two as they come up second and ten. Throwing at Stafford. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jaquan Brisker, and the Bears are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. And partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. Thank you for stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Fields. 
is incomplete here. But he certainly didn't like when he saw it all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Fields. Oh, Fields is intercepted for a third time. Picked up by the linebacker Bobby Wagner. And the Rams are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cup, and he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Stafford going to give this to Akers. He'll get about four here down to the 43-yard line. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 31-yard line. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now Stafford. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets them on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding, but how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes Parton, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Stafford on first down. That's out to the flat for Akers. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. On first and 10, Stafford. 
Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, here's Stafford. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 40. Now it's Stafford. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Van Jefferson, 40 yards. And the Rams will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Gain to kick it away. On the return is Jones from the end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Fields now to throw. Steps away to his left. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This a second and seven from the 37. Going up the gut, Montgomery. Yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. A final shot before the break. Fields. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And nothing comes in this last-ditch attempt at points as time will run out on this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. This taken in at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending. The and now here's another interception. Picked off by Ernest Jones. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. Boy, they give him what again, Charles. Five interceptions in this game. We rarely see this.
this maybe a couple of times in a season. But this defense, they've been fantastic. It's certainly an example of watching a defense that is in the zone. Right? We use that term so often, but most of the time, it's for people who are on offense. In this case, it's a defense as a whole, all locked in with each other, all ready to go. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll go down at the 28. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On fourth down, Stafford. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Bears are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before, and right now after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now your defensive coordinator is asking the offense coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field. So play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more. A lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shit. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Chicago. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you're looking for proof of his speed, next-gen stats shows that he was traveling just over 21 miles an hour there. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Now they've got it first and 10. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They're going to try the jet sweep. Robinson with it. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 43 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Going right back to Akers. And he'll snag about five yards down at the 32. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw is complete into the hands of Higby. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter.
A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Stafford now to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Akers is going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. So, Charles, man, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that? Right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A play fake. Now fields to throw. And he'll get this complete downfield to connect. And all inside the 15 before they drop it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Pushes him over. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. From the four, this is second down and one. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. Touchdown! Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. A 
On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Stafford. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his own. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Stafford now to throw. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 36. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now Stafford. Well, they hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Hey. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. They'll try and run for this with Akers. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And Gay knocks this one through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. And give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he's in! Are you kidding me? How do you get that up? One of the most improbable ways to Why did you do that? And they do win it on the final play. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical execution.